Do you need to go green? With your lasers, that is. We'll find out in a moment. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. Today, we've got the Makita SK700 GD. This is a three-plane green laser. There's tons of features on this thing, so let's not spoil it. Let's dive right in, take a closer look at these features. We'll come back, as always. We'll talk about pricing. We'll talk about warranty. Talk about what we think of it. Let's get to it. We have a nice, pretty new box from Makita. No, it's more than a box. This is a three-plane laser, and more than just a laser, it is a green laser. Now, if you're not aware of green lasers, well, they're much better than red lasers. Why is that? Well, they're more visible, uh, so you get a longer use out of them or a lengthier use. Well, let's just say you can see the laser further off so anyway, a green laser is just much more visible than a red laser. And typically you're going to pay more for a green laser because it costs more to make. Or maybe the demand's higher. Either way you look at it, green laser is always more expensive. So what you get in this kit, this is the Makita SK700 GD for a green laser. I believe the red laser is just uh, SK700D if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is NAJ. So the SK700 GD NAJ, which is this kit here, which comes with a two amp hour battery, uh, the laser, the four amp hour 12 volt battery, uh, this doohickey that will mount on walls and uh, connect to the magnetic base as well, uh, the 12 volt charger, and uh, the laser and a couple more things in here we'll pull out, even a nice uh, small Frisbee. Uh, CD disc. I don't know what we're using that for, uh, but regardless, there's some instructions in there. There's a, another mount in there, and then uh, this little reflector here that's going to make that green laser more visible at those longer distances so you can more easily see that, whether it's daytime or nighttime or dark light, whatever. So if you haven't noticed, this runs on their 12-volt CXT battery platform. So we've got the 2-amp hour in here we've got the four amp hour battery uh, that's extra as well and as far as runtime you're looking at seven hours on a two amp hour and double that for a four amp hour so up to 14 hours and that's continuous runtime so if you're shutting this thing on and off as you use it which is typically what you do you're going to get way more than a day's use out of either one of these batteries but 14 hours continuous use on the four amp hour now this is a three plane laser what's that mean well we get a horizontal plane, we get a vertical plane, and then we get a plumb plane. So basically two vertical planes and a horizontal plane, and you can turn each one of those off. So basically we get six different uh, intersecting points, if you will, and you'll see that those, those lasers are kind of flopping around in there. Uh, but if I turn it on the lock mode, so that's kind of a transport mode, or you can lock it on to actually put it out a level, uh, that's going to lock those in place and make it so you're not hurting it while you're transporting it or carrying it around or or because you just want to we'll get into that in just one moment as well so if i turn it on while it's locked you'll see here it'll go into this flashing mode telling me that this is locked and you'll see the laser will flash as well but this is a mode where if i do want it locked and let's say i wanted to paint an angle on a wall or something i could actually tilt that on the mount and uh, and lock it that way by locking that pendulum or locking uh, that laser in there and by the way that's going to lock all of them so if i turn my laser on a different plane it's still going to lock those so now i've just got it in vertical and i've got it locked now and you see it's not going to move now, the other cool thing, if I turn it back into the basically a uh, pendulum mode, so in other words, these, uh, these lasers are going to self-center, so you see it rocking around as I change it because I turn the lock off, so that's going to rock until it finds center again or finds, in this case, plumb, so we get complete vertical, and then if I tilt this more than four degrees, so basically up to four degrees tilt, it's going to, it's going to self-level, or in this case, self-plumb, but when I go more than that, you see it goes into a flashing mode. That's letting, letting me know that now it's not self-centering or self-plumb self, uh, self or self-leveling because I'm past that 
four degrees. So I can go up to four degrees out of level and it will self-center. But if I go more than that, it's going to let me know that I'm past that point and we're no longer plumb, no longer level. And I can easily, with the power button here, cycle between uh, my different lasers. So here now I've got, I've got my horizontal on, I've got one vertical axis on. And now if I hit it again, now I've got all three planes on. So I've got my two vertical axes on as well as the horizontal axes. I also have brightness modes right here so I can push it push it again so there's bright or high there's medium and there's low and again I've got that in all three of those lasers or all four different modes I can go to bright medium and low conserve a little energy make it a little bit brighter if you need to whatever you need to do right there uh, from that brightness button so two buttons to operate this thing very simple to do and it makes a lot of sense too Hold it down to shut it off. It's gonna shut off. Hold it down to turn it on, or really you can just press it to turn it on, and then you're just gonna press it to cycle through the different lasers and find out which ones you need. And then again, for travel mode, hold that button, turn it off, and click that down in the lock position. And now it's gonna lock those, lock those lasers into position. Now on these lasers, as far as distance with this green laser, it's pretty amazing what they're getting out of these. We get a visibility range of up to 115 feet, and it's detectable up to 230 feet if you has, have a laser detector. Now that's not this thing. You'll see that you know, we can increase visibility with this, but this is not a laser detector. A laser detector would be an electronic instrument that actually can actually visibly see that, uh, that laser a lot further than our naked eye can, and that's gonna extend up to 230 feet. Now, as far as accuracy out that far, well, we're within 1 16th at 33 feet. So pretty accurate, and that's on the vertical and the horizontal axes uh, within a 16th up to 33 feet. Now, a couple of things that are almost as cool as the laser itself are the bases on this, and, and here's why. So number one, it's just sitting on this base here. Uh, and we can operate it that way. We've got a quarter inch uh, thread right there so we can mount it on any of your typical tripods. And so we can just mount it on the base that it's actually sitting on. And then we get up to 10 degrees of movement. And this is fine adjustment right here with this knob. So you'll see here, let me turn on my vertical plane. There we go. And you'll see I can move this up to 10 degrees, in this case to the right. And then I can turn this back and you can see I can really very slightly move this if I want to. So real fine adjustment right there with the knob. So I'm not having to loosen it or, or grab this and actually turn it and watch it wobble around. I can just very easily and softly turn that laser till I get to the point I want it to be. So I get 10 degrees four, 10 degrees after, 10 degrees left, 10 degrees right, right there on that base that it actually comes on. Now we also get this base here and I don't have to remove that base to put it on this base and you'll also see rather quickly that again we have our quarter inch threads right here but we also have our 5 8 inch threads. So if we've got any of our big tripods like for surveying or just you have these big tripods it's going to easily mount on that as well. We also get three I believe those are earth magnets because they grab like crazy uh, so we can just stick it right to the wall and it's going to hold that laser no problem at all just with the magnets there. So I can put it on here and then we have a thumb screw to tighten this down. And once I tighten it down, like I said, I can put that right there on the wall and have no issue with it holding. And it's going to self-level right there with no issues. But the other cool thing is if I'm taking it off the tripod or taking it off the wall, I can spread these legs out right here and get a little more stability out of that base. So I really like that Makita's really thought this through. In other words, I don't just have to use the base when I'm using it on the tripod or if I have it on the tripod and need to pull it down and throw it on the floor. I don't have to remove anything. I don't have to separate it. I can use this base, put it back on the tripod, 
put it back on the on the steel I beam or on the uh, you know in this case my my metal pegboard. Um, so another really cool and quick base that again I can still use this movement here as well. I can obviously move use any adjustments that may be on my tripod, and again I can hang it from a screw, hang it from a, from the magnet here, and then we get another base as well. And again they've thought this through. So now we get this base that we could hang from a screw. So we've got a screw or a nail mount. So we put a nail on a stud and hang it. Or if you've got some, uh, some steel girders or something like that, you can just clip that on. And then we get some adjustment here for as far as, you know, vertical adjustment. And the cool thing here is obviously metal pad right there. So you probably get where I'm going with this. And you see that hourglass figure in those magnets there. And that's going to line up with those notches right here. So it's going to lock into place. And now again, I can use that mount that's connected to this mount that's connected to the laser. So I can independently use these things or I can quickly connect all of them. And by the way, now I get a real fine adjustment up and down as well. So we had the side to side. This is going to go up and down adjustment very fine to get the laser exactly where I want it to go. And finally, if you're concerned about using it outdoors or in a construction environment where there may be a little bit of moisture, this is IP54 rated, so it's protected a little bit from, from dust and, and, uh, and moisture. Um, so don't have to worry about that. And it's just a very rugged design. You can see each one of the lasers are protected as well. So if we're laid over on its face, it's not actually contacting the glass or contacting the laser. Obviously, I shouldn't be banging that around without these being locked out. You see, if I lock them out again, wherever this falls, it's going to be protected as far as the laser goes. And I really like that Makita's thought through a lot of this, especially with these bases and with your, their finer micro adjustments. Whether you're using a laser on a construction site or even using it for fabbing things up, they come in very handy, especially when you get into three plane axes, 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 whatever. Anyway, and the green, I'm telling you, especially in the light is gonna show up so much better and easier to see than the red laser. So you can save a little money on the red laser, but it's probably worth it to go ahead and step up to the green laser. Uh, the Makita, again, it's the SK700GD. If you wanna get it in the kit, as you see here, it would be the NAJ tacked onto the end of that. And that whole kit's gonna run you about 589 bucks. No, that's not a cheap kit. Uh, the bare tool by itself is gonna run probably 489, 499, depending on where you find it. We'll have a couple of links in the description if you wanna check those out. But anyway, the kit's gonna come with the two amp hour and the four amp hour 12 volt batteries is also gonna come with the, uh, the extending uh, reflector here, as well as a couple of the mounts and the carrying case and the charger. So really nice kit set up. Our thoughts on this, great laser, obviously, but really and truly it's all the accessories that come along with it that make this just an even better product. So Makita kind of thought of, I don't wanna say everything, but thought of a lot of things, especially when it comes to setting up and moving lasers. That's one of the big things when these lasers first started coming out was when you moved them, you had to kind of recalibrate everything. So when they're taking a lot of that out of it, or you can just quickly set it up, move it, bring it back, and you don't have to do a lot more setup or, or actually fine tuning, makes it very, very easy and saves a ton of time for you. So check it out. Again, it's the Makita SK700 GD. And also they covered this with a three year warranty on the tool. Hey, be sure to keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, even TikTok now. And would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already? And by all means, if you hated our video, then give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.